Hello, my loves. How are you doing? I have missed you. Hope you're doing amazing. Now, let's see about as we are in December right now and we are starting the new year. Let's see what you're leaving behind and what you're starting out very soon. In one month, we are already in January. Do not worry when you watch this reading because we always receive the messages from Spirit when we are prepared. There's, there are never coincidences. Thank you for the old subscribers. Thank you for the new subscribers. And welcome if it's the first time that you find us. I always talk, in, I talk like this because I am working with a very beautiful team of light. All of, all of us, we have a lot of guides and masters and angels and family and ancestors, animal totems with us in order to help us to achieve our dreams and to help us heal as well. So guys, you can check through groups right here. I love feathers, you know guys, that I love angels. So group number one, it's this one. Group number two and group number three. I'm going to leave you guys to connect with your groups and if you feel drawn to more than one group, check it all of them. Because we always receive messages in many, many groups. It happens many times. So do not worry about that. And don't forget to subscribe. Give me a like if you want to support my work. And you know, guys, that you can support me as well through donation using a specific link like Keen or Purple Garden, where you will have a very specific reading. And I receive at the same time, if you guys, if you use my link, a donation, which helps me to continue with my channels. No obligation, but thank you so much for the ones that you will proceed. So I will see you in just a few seconds. Welcome group number one. Wow. Let's see the card that has come out for all of you. Let's see what you're leaving behind and what, what you're manifesting or what you're creating for yourself for 2023 for this new, very powerful new year that it's coming. It's very, we are so close and we have three. What, what a beautiful synchronicity. I chose the cards because of intuition. I did not notice that it had a three and we are talking about 2023. And it talks about transformation, defining yourself. So this is talk, This is telling me already that you have been working a lot through fear, through rejection. Okay, everything that has been stopping you until now, it's over. I'm listening from spirit. It's like you see how he is, and I'm feeling goosebumps just by connecting with the image. You see how he is. Let me focus. You see how he's touching the dragon, but in a smooth way in a confident way, not pushing, not too weak, in a perfect state, okay? Harmonious, I'm confident. I am in peace with myself. I am in peace with my demons. I am connected to light because I am light. So I feel that 2023, it's going to be a whoa. A, I think that it's going to be your aha year, like your aha moment of, of all of your life. I don't know, group number one, you have, you have been feeling like this. Let me know in the comments. If you want to share it, if this is completely confirmation that th what you're feeling, that everything that has been stopping you, all of those blockages, those people, those enemies, even maybe your own demons, it's our, we can be our best enemy, right? So I feel that that's over. I'm listening. You know, guys, and I, I am already medium. That's over. Okay. And I feel like a lot of respect. You are, right now you're respecting yourself a lot and you are going to attain, you're going to attract a lot of respect. And I see a lot of people looking at you. Maybe this is already happening because of your job or maybe because you're somebody that you're very open and you know a lot of people, but I see a lot of eyes into you, 
into your work and how you dress, how you move, how you speak. A lot of respect. People that talked bad about you in the past will start copying you. It's so funny, right? So I feel, and I'm talking about this, and I know that right now, group number one, or at least you're going to be, many of you, in this, po in this point of, I don't care so much of others, although I want to help a lot of people, but I, um, I know that my power resides within me, within myself. And I like red, maybe some of you guys, you're YouTubers. This for me talks about root chakra, granting yourself passion. So I feel that even in 2023, many of you guys, you're going to start your passion, your hobby. Maybe that ideal job. Maybe you have already started those incredible, yes, those studies that you always wanted to study or that hobby or that job. And I feel that there's a raise, there's a promotion or you starting out your own business. And if you have already started your channel, your own business, I feel like, whoa, it's, I feel like a lot of stability coming towards you. Okay? I love it. And I feel that this man does not feel shy, does not feel... I, I feel humbleness. I feel you guys being humble, being grounded in 2023, and having a better body. I don't know if some of you guys, you're working yourself. Let, let me put this here. I don't know if you guys, if you're working yourself. Oh, yes, I'm going to, I didn't know if to move the feather. Okay. Sorry, guys. I laugh at myself. Okay. This is my side of my Spanish side. We are too natural. Well, not, not all Spanish people are natural. I think that all of you guys too, you're going to feel that you can be yourself, that they're paying to be you, to be yourself. I mean, you're going to be a guy, to be like, oh my gosh, it's an example, okay? It could be, the, it could be what some of you guys you are, are living through, but you maybe you have a YouTube channel and you're just vlogging and it's like, oh my gosh, they're paying me just to record something that I love, okay? That's what I feel. I'm not going to read in reverse this time. The world? Yes. You becoming very successful. You traveling. You meeting a lot of people from different cultures. You having the power. You see, it's the same energy. It's the same energy. You having the power. You feel more confident. And I feel you being always, always protected by your ancestors and by the people that love you. I feel that maybe you're going to know a lot of people or you already know a lot of people, but do you only have like maybe between one and five really good close friends, people that you really trust? Although group number one, I feel that all of you guys, you're very nice. You're very open. You like to, maybe some of you guys, you're learning new languages. I feel that even many of you, you're starting to feel attracted to light language. This is something that I started a few months ago as well. That's the language of the soul. And Wheel of Fortune, yes, absolutely. So I feel that even many of you guys, you're going to have more money, a raise, as I said before, a promotion, or your job or your hobby, it's going to go viral. Maybe your channel, you're going to have double the subscribers, the minimum. And I feel a lot of fun too, okay? We see here the ferry. We see here a couple meeting one and another. So again, I tell you that many, you're going to have more admirers. Many people really want to know more about you. How, how you, how can you, yes, I, sorry guys, I speak better Spanish. People want to know how you got from point A to C. Maybe they don't know about point B. I may I explain myself correctly. Because some people, they know many stuff about your past, but not everyone knows what you have been doing to elevate yourself, to heal yourself, to be successful, to be in peace with yourself. And I feel many people are going to ask you, what the heck did you do to, to get to this incredible point of the world and the wheel of fortune? This is great success. This is great achievement. This is you being happy at last with your life, with yourself. If you right now, you feel a little bit lonely, I feel group number one that you're going to meet a lot of new people, your soul family probably, coming from different countries, okay? I feel you connecting with people from different cultures. 
Maybe some of you guys are going to open a restaurant with a different type of food. I'm listening. And seven of or maybe you're working in a restaurant. Seven of Pentacles, yes. You receiving the fruits of your labor. And I see him very happy. Do you know that in order to be successful, in order to attract, in order to change your life, you need to put some work and a constant work and a lot of faith. And this is what I feel, group number one, that your faith is even growing. Everything that you sensed till now, it's becoming a reality in 2023. Let me shuffle this card. And then we have the page of certs. Yes, you're not afraid anymore. You're not afraid of anymore to say no. You're not afraid anymore to set healthy boundaries. You're not afraid anymore to cut anything that it's not serving you anymore. You're not afraid anymore. That's the phrase that I'm listening. Good for you, group number one. Do you sense the energy? I see, I'm feeling a lot of goosebumps. I see you like strong, with a strong will. I see you like, again, a lot of confidence in 2023. And do not worry if you are going to feel sometimes anxiety or sadness or everyone has their ups and lows. But I feel that in your case, group number one, you're going to have more stability. If you are working on this, you will have it in 2023 for sure. I know. Okay. Let us get the confirmation for the card of the world. This one. Okay. Then the Knight of Pentacles. Yes. You're starting out. Or you continuing with something, okay? I see a lot of energy of entrepreneurship. You working for yourself. Or you working the hours, organizing yourself the way it's best, it's most suitable for you. Maybe some people love to wake up at five. Maybe others, they will love to wake up at half past ten in the morning. And maybe others, they work better at night. It's good. Not everyone is the same. It's funny because when I see these videos that... And I'm not encouraging you <laughs> to not wake up early if, if that's something that you like. But it's funny. I always think I, in my case, I normally I activate myself during the night. It's true that lately, I don't know if it's because I'm, I, I am 45 right now, I'm going to be 46. Right now, I prefer to work during the day. But for all of these past years, I always worked, you know, guys, the ones that you have been following in, uh, from the beginning, the channel, I worked most of my time during the night. So do not worry about that as long as you, you work uh, in a productive way, okay? And again, they're telling me spirits that you are going to feel more confident, although maybe you're going to have a little bit of fear and sometimes you're going to have bad moments it's understandable we are not robots we are human beings okay it's fine i'm listening as i was saying with the night of search okay the confirmation with the wheel of fortune i think that this is over okay those headaches you listening maybe to bad spirits maybe some of you guys you're natural mediums protect yourself i am watching here this and it reminds me of a celtic cross maybe a celtic cross or a pentagram or um, I, in my case, I, I like, uh, well, I, I am wearing two, two things, but maybe some cords could help you to protect yourself, okay? Because I feel that sometimes you're highly sensitive, and it happens to me as well, to sound, to noise, to arguments, to toxic energy, even, and even to toxic low vibrational entities. Do not worry, just this is over, I'm listening. So I see you even like stronger, getting yourself stronger, so you don't have to stand up for again, for anything that it's not aligned with you anymore, okay? And I love it because I'm watching the fairies over here. You see, you're so highly protected and the bats, okay? The bats are supposed to be, well, I don't think it's a negative entity, not at all. So I think again that you are taming the demons. You are transforming, you're alchemizing the energy. You're alchemizing the pain into something that it's going to make you stronger and Yes, I'm being more in touch with the core of who you truly are. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Yes, baby. Five of swords. What did I tell you? With the seven of pentacles. And number seven, it's living your soul purpose, living your dream. Okay, following your soul path, your soul contract. Five of swords, you see? You made it. You made it. So please, please don't... 
don't um, I mean I understand that maybe sometimes you have doubts but you are going to be very successful I feel some envy towards you around you okay protect yourself from that energy but you are going to be very prepared for this for this success for this elevation for you being in a higher position in life and King of Pentacles, oh my gosh, with a page of shirts. And by you saying no, standing in your ground, in your position, in, in the core of who you are, and not feeling bad or guilty, saying no to stuff of people that no longer resonates with you anymore, it's going to bring you a lot, a lot of opportunities, collaborations, and a lot of money, King of Pentacles, oh my gosh, <laughs> with the Wheel of Fortune and the world. I think that many of you guys are going to be rich, really. Or you're going to have a lot of, a lot of money next year. I'm so happy for you guys. Wow. Wow. I love the good news. And you deserve this, right? You're a wonderful, beautiful, beautiful soul. And this is what you deserve. And then we have tr uh, Trumpet. I was going to read Triumph. Trumpet Gentia. Okay, it's so beautiful. Power and healing, yes. Power and healing, absolutely. This is the summary of you. So you're leaving behind fear. You're leaving behind maybe people that no longer resonates with you, even it could be a job or some studies. And to get what you, ha what you love, you first have to be patient with what you have and know. To get what you love, you first have to be patient with what you have. And this is what you have been working on. Maybe stuff was not good in the past. Maybe it's not even good right now. But Spirit is telling you, is reminding you. Patience, it's going to lead you to success. And accepting the present moment, this, is not, this does not mean I accept people uh, talking to me bad or I said people treating me like like BS no but sometimes we cannot change several stuff I mean well we, ca we can do a lot of things with energy <laughs> I have to talk more about this <laughs> but some things we, or people we cannot change so don't lose your energy anymore in there I think that this is something that you have been learning lately with the butterfly this is deep transformation and the trumpets this is when I think of the trumpet, and I suppose that like many of you guys, it's like triumph, like like, poo, like an announcement. Like, oh, I think that even many of you guys, you're going to receive, um, you're going to receive something. You're going to receive, I don't know if you're going to be interviewed by another channel or by, a, you're going to appear in a magazine or in the newspaper or in the TV. I see, again, I see many of you guys being interviewed and many people suddenly they're connecting with your energy because again they're going to feel drawn and, and very magnetic towards your energy this is so beautiful fertility watermelon yes i think this reminds me of summertime and again red you are going to be very successful in something that you feel passionate about and it's going to bring you a lot of ground a grounding energy and it's going to bring you a lot of stability and it's so beautiful because we see here the angel inside of here so this is telling me that many of you guys you're very you're like a like, like an earth angel i don't know if guys if you want to let me know in the comments have they tell you many times you look like an angel or you are an earth angel or you you come from a different planet emotion yes cucumber i see that many people are going to connect with you through through emotions because they're going to see that you're very natural, you're somebody that you feel, and you're not afraid of feeling, you're not afraid of emotions. And, it's, uh, and this says a lot about you, that you have been doing your work, your healing. Good for you. <laughs> and empathic starseed, yes, baby, of course. Energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. And I feel this is over. It's like you're alchemizing energy. You're, in 2023, you're going to feel, you're not going to feel so tired because of the toxic energy of others or of places, even of yourself. Because when we are being very negative, we, we don't raise the frequency, right? But again, I feel that you have been doing your shadow work. Look at the mirror. You're not afraid anymore. anymore and you're embracing into a new level. You're leveling up. You are leveling up. I, I keep listening. Group number one. And my angels, before we end up the reading, if you want to ask a specific question to angels, 
One second. The angels are telling me to, to shuffle one of these. Wow, Vo, look at that. Wish, wish, hope, worship. What did I tell you guys? Maybe your words, where you have been worshiping some God, goddesses, God, light, universe. But if you, many people are going to start worshiping you, you're going to bring hope to others. You are going to help others to, to, to help them to, to, yes, to help them with a wish, with the wishes to become a reality. Wow. Wow, group number one. This, I'm so happy. Now I understand why they were telling me. Number 54, okay? Maybe you're watching, guys, a lot of fives, fours, or nines. Wow. Now you can ask your team of light a specific question. Sorry, guys. I have put in some cream when I'm recording. <laughs> I see the cream be below my name. <laughs> Okay, you can ask mentally or aloud your question. Get more information, okay? Ask more or search more information about, about it. And another one, another question. Okay, we have two, <laughs> two, <laughs> three. Unlikely and you're going in the right direction. I hope it makes sense, group number one. I love you guys so much. I am in a situation right now that I cannot record. That's why I'm merely recording. I'm so sorry. There's a lot of noise. So um, I am accepting the situation. And when, I, when there's no noise, I record like crazy. <laughs> so I hope I can do it this weekend. So don't worry. I'm not going to... to I, I'm going to appear very soon. I love you guys so much. And if you want to support me with my work, with these free videos, you can use my keen link or my purple garden. I'm so happy and I feel so blessed because so many of you guys, you're using the links. I know you're very happy. You're repeating again. You're receiving very specific information and they're very good in keen and in purple garden. It's a psychic uh, online platform. Okay. There are tarotists, astrologers, mediums, tarotists. They're very good. I even use it for myself and I receive a compensation from them. So thank you so much, guys. No obligation, but really thank you. Thank you for the likes, for the comments, for everything, for your loving energy. I love you guys so much and I understand why you're going to become so successful. You are a light. We need more light like you. I love you guys. I love I love you, brothers and sisters. Bye, my loves. Adios. Welcome, Bye. group number two. <laughs> I feel so blessed for your presence. I hope you're feeling good. And if that's not the case, I'm sure that you will receive good vibration through this reading and you will feel better after you finish the group. So my angels, let's see the card that has come out for you. So we have number 26, okay, with protection, finding what's important. So very good because we see six plus two is eight. This is abundance. This is the infinite symbol. This is wisdom. This is like two snakes getting together. So this is telling me that in reality, you are a very, very, very wise, wise soul. I even feel group number two. And if you don't resonate, do not worry, change of group. But I feel with all of you guys, because you know guys that I am I am more a, I am a psychic and a medium as well as a therapist. I am listening from spirit that since you were very child, you did not feel that you fit it. You did not fit. And it's not because you were weird or you were you were strange or you're strange or you're you're different. I mean, yes, you're different and you're very special, of course, but it's because you knew more than the media. You could perceive more. You're highly sensitive to energies. You're highly sensitive to information. You're, si you're highly sensitive even to the sort of music that you listen, to the frequencies. You're very sensitive to drama. You're very sensitive to happiness. So I feel all of you guys, you are very, very, very empathic. And maybe you have been struggling, protecting your energy, protecting your space, or protecting... Yes, maybe there was a feeling in, in the past because of your childhood experiences. This happens a lot when we come from trauma. Everyone experiences some sort of trauma. But maybe you, and I'm sorry about that, I give you a big hack from here. <laughs> You're not alone. Uh, maybe you pass through more trauma than the media of people or than many people that you know. Or maybe you know a lot of people that pass through a lot of stuff as well. And maybe your inner child never felt safe. So what I feel that 
When you're leaving behind or you're transforming, because I keep watching the, the card of the group number one, maybe you did not know if to choose one, one and two. I feel that there are messages for you in group number one, just in case you want to check it out. So I feel that you are alchemizing that pain, that you feeling not protected, you not feeling safe, because maybe your parents did not know how to give you that comfort, that energy, that that safety that you needed okay but i feel 2023 you are going to feel at last protected you're going to feel you're going to find you're going to find finding what's important you're going to find what's your sole purpose you're going to find the place where you feel it's your energy it's your people you're going to find your tribe you're going to find again your desire you're going to find your voice. You're going to find whatever you feel, it was lost. It was never lost. It was waiting for you to find it again. So beautiful. <laughs> I love it when I chant <laughs> like this. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And I was I was watching and I'm feeling I feel so goosebumps when I'm connecting with all of you guys and with light beings. And these leaves. Reminds me of stars as well. I see like a regeneration. I see you like standing by yourself. Maybe you're going to be independent in 2023 or you're going to divorce or you're already divorced and you're going to find your home, that safe place. Or maybe you're going to live with somebody. It could be a love, a, a new loving relationship or maybe your current partner right now. You guys are going to live in a place that you feel safe, that you feel at ease, that you feel you resonate with the energy of the of of earth. I feel like doing like this, like ooh, I don't know why I'm doing that. But I feel like you moving and connecting with the energy of earth. Does it make sense? I don't know. <laughs> Do you like dancing? Some of you guys are you are you dancers, professional dancers or actor or actresses? I feel you standing out for yourself, not being afraid of showing of who you are. 2023 is going to be your year of surrounding yourself, surrounding, yes, yeah, surrounding to love, surrounding to light, surrounding to people that you connect with and you're feeling protected and maybe even you protecting others. Maybe you were meant to go through a lot of trauma to overcome it by healing. And then showing others how to protect themselves, maybe from narcissists, maybe from abusive people. Okay, maybe from depression, maybe from an illness. So I see a lot of transformation here in group number two. So 2023 is going to help you to feel safe and to help others, maybe for some of you, many of you guys, to help others, to show them the way to protect themselves. We have to, we have to protect ourselves, not to be in defensive mode the whole time right? We have to flow, but we have to protect ourselves. We have to protect our space, our sacred body, protecting our body, the way we eat, the way we feed our mind, our soul. What are we watching? Am I watching drama? Am I watching gossiping? That's BS. And that's not a good vibration, a good frequency. Am I encouraging others? Am I putting people down? It makes a big difference, right? Wow, we have the card of the death for sale. Again, many of you guys in 2023, you are selling your home or you're moving to a new home or moving to a new country or maybe meeting somebody from a different city and you guys moving to a different state. And although moving it's painful or leaving behind something that it's like, um, how do I say this? Like, something that we feel comfortable with, although maybe it could be toxic for us, it's necessary. We need to pass through a lot of death moments to, to go through a rebirth, to go through a transformation, to live a new life. I feel that many of you guys, it's like the death of your old identity. And in 2023, it's going to be the beginning of your new identity. So if you are working a lot of with subliminals, affirmations, and you're working yourself to reprogram your mind, it's working out. Keep going. Or maybe this is a message that you're receiving from spirit 
that go with um, be careful the type of music that you listen be careful be careful with the type of ads that you're watching what are you buying are you buying something that it's good for animals for planet earth that the message is healthy, that it's light, or the message it's coming from dark, from a darker place. You know what I mean, guys? If, if you want to share in the comments, I don't know if I can talk about this, but you know what I mean. Some labels, they work with dark. Some labels, they work with light. I think that you're, you're aware of this, of course. And with the cut of the death, uh, this is for me, okay? <laughs> That's not mean that... Or other tarot readers, when they see the card of the, the, the death, it means this. But for me, it means that all of you guys, you're not true mediums. You can sense spirits. Maybe you have been attacked by demons, and that's why you needed to learn how to protect yourself during your astral trips or astral journeys. Okay? I feel a lot of attacks, but this is over. You are, you are starting to learn how to protect yourself. Okay? Let me put it like this. I am sorry about the sound because they are making new homes besides my home. We have the two of wands. Yes, baby. You have been desiring. This is desire in 2020, 2022, this current year. And I'm not, I'm of course, in, in the previous years. You have been trying to manifest. You are a very powerful psychic being, my love. Whoa. I think that a lot of you guys, you have been witches or sorcerers in past lives. I feel that you should wear a pentagram to protect yourself from people that that maybe wants to harm you because they feel envy or maybe maybe this is not something conscious or de deliberately, but some people, they can harm us because they're not doing their work. So protect yourself with a pentagram or maybe with, you could wear tourmaline, this, which is a black, all black quartz are very good at protecting. I mean, I'm wearing um, a tiger eye, which is very good for protecting yourself. Okay, then we have the chariot again, moving, moving, traveling. I see a lot of traveling or you moving to a new place, to a new area. You moving to a different state, to a new identity, moving, moving, moving. Leaving behind old memories, old stories, and beginning your own life. Beginning your story. Creating your life as you wish. I feel that 2023, all of you guys, you're going to... You are going to alchemize energy better. You're going to know how to lead the energy better. Because you feel more safe. Because when we don't feel safe, it's like, woo! It's like... Boom, boom. It's like, oh my gosh, it's like uh, everything is knocking me out. No, this is enough. This is over. I'm listening. Okay, if, some, if many of you guys, you have not found your family or your partner, or your future spouse, and you want to have children, maybe you have children, and, but you would love to have more, this is a reality too for next year. And then we have the High Priestess. Wow, all of you guys, you're so powerful. Now I understand why you're being so attacked. Did you know that when you have, when we have this, that, this, all of you guys, you have a very big, 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 big light. That's why you have been attacked so many times by low vibrational entities through people, through circumstances, through energy. Because you bring such a light to this universe. You're such a natural healer. You're such a natural witch, sorcerer. You're such a natural shaman. You're such a natural psychic and medium that they are very scared of you. Very, very scared of you. And that's why they want you to be in a state of depression, of I don't feel worth it. I don't feel, I feel that there's something wrong about me. No, there's no, nothing wrong about you. You're a miracle in disguise. You're such a beautiful and magical being. Look at the magician and the high priestess. Whoa, in 2023, you are going to manifest an incredible life for you. You are not afraid anymore to, to tap into your true, incredible, profound, and, and magical abilities. You are so, so, so gifted. Group number two. And again, one and two. I think that there are messages for all of you guys in group number one and two. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
Who are you guys? Let me know in the comments. Do you know about this? I hope so. Let's do a confirmation of the card of the death, which for me it means as well abundance. Change of state, change of habit, change of life, change of home. Wow, the magician again. This is crazy. Whoa. I think that all of you guys, you have, yes, because I'm connecting with them, you have very, 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 very strong guides and masters and ancestors working side by side with you to help you through your journey. I hope you can sense them. I think that you should light up candles to, to and thank them. Thank you for helping me out. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sending me the information. Thank you for protecting me. Whoa, two times the magician. Wow. What you're supposed to do, it's very, very, very important. As this is a general reading, I cannot tell you guys everything that I see, but to twice the magician, whoa, I even feel that many of you guys, maybe it's a best friend, maybe it's a sibling or a family member with a family member or with a lover or with your soulmate. I see both of you guys creating something very, very important in this incarnation. And wow, a nine of pentacles, whoa. Below the two of wands. Wow. Again, two. Partnership. Soulmates. Couple. A lot of abundance. All of you guys, you're going to be working through an incredible project or life project with somebody else. Does not mean for all of you guys it's a partner. If, again, it could be your best friend. Your, It could be... Uh, yes, it could be your partner, your business partner. Both of you guys are so powerful together. You're going to make so much money. Wow. Do you sense the energy? Group number two. Oh my gosh. Please, confirmation of the chariot. This is balance. You're going to feel again more balance. You're going to feel that you're attracting more balanced and very positive people and more and nicer people, okay? Wow, the Wheel of Fortune, it came out in group number one. I think that all of you guys, you're living behind your karma and you're starting out in 2023, your dharma, D-H-A-R-M-A. -A. Good for you, my love. It was, it was about time, right? It was, you have been waiting for dharma, for the good stuff. Well, this is coming. This is coming, baby. This is coming. Wow. It's so funny because everything is flying. So this is telling me a lot of flights. Maybe some of you guys, your pilots or your uh, hostesses, you're, you're going to meet somebody that they travel a lot. Maybe you're going to travel a lot because this is your work as a YouTuber, you vlog, or maybe you are a businessman or businesswoman or you're a student, but you're going to make this very beautiful trip or you're going to make this this trip that it's um, has been calling you. Maybe you want to to go to USA, to Asia, to Egypt, to Spain. Maybe you want to come to Spain. And look at that with the Eight of Wands. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Really? I am amazed. I would. Really. If somebody, if I paid for a reading and these cards came out for me, I would jump <laughs> of happiness. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The fastest card. The fastest this is quick movement. This is fast energy. This is a lot of miracles coming and opportunities coming towards you. This is you manifesting like crazy. Twice the magician with it of much. Wow, amazing. With the high priestess. Who are you guys? Are you on YouTube? Some of you. Wow. I think that many of you, I think that I know many of you from past lives. I am watching Hawaii. Many, maybe some of you guys, some of us, we have met in Hawaii. Wow. I don't know if lately, again, this is a general reading, but group number two, I don't know if lately you felt that things were not moving fast or things were not going the way you expected. 2023, it's going to be the other way around. It's okay. Really, take vitamins. <laughs> don't forget to drink water. Don't forget to rest. You're going to be so excited. 
I even feel many of you guys not even sleeping because of happiness. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm so happy for you guys. You deserve this. And I even feel that many of you guys suddenly meeting the love of your life. And it's like, I cannot sleep. Night of shirts, yes. Yes. You, you are such a fighter. Maybe in the past you were in a survival mode because you did not feel protected. Your inner child did not feel protected. And you felt like, oh my gosh, so, so many, so many obstacles. What, what am I doing here? Is this supposed, is, is life supposed to be like this? Well, it was supposed to be like that to help you to grow, to be stronger, more resilient, to be wiser. I think that all of you guys, you're masters in reality. That's why obstacles and challenges happen so hard. But you're a fighter. You're not afraid anymore. You, I think that all of you guys, even you're a very old, old, old soul. And I don't feel you only have reincarnated in this planet. I think that many of you guys, you have reincarnated in other dimensions. And I feel all of you guys working, whether you're conscious or not, you're working with a lot of very beautiful, different type of light beings from different dimensions. Wow. You're very special. Group number two. I hope you realize it. I I like so much your energy that I would I would I would sit here and just connect with your energy. I would be so happy. <laughs> I hope if you were feeling a little bit low, your vibration is better now. Let me get this too. Ritual, yes, and courage, yes, baby. What we were talking about? You're somebody very brave. You're somebody very brave. I tell you that me, most of the people. If they lived what you have lived through, they wouldn't be like you. They, maybe they would have gone to the dark side. That's not your case. I think that many of you guys, you would be very good at doing um, rituals with quartz. That's crystal grid. Maybe you are very good with rituals, but always with light. You're somebody that you work with light. Maybe you're a very strong witch and you have been punished and killed in many past lives. And that's why you're afraid of using your gifts. But do not worry. You can do it. Um, witchcraft or magic, it, it's, not good or, it's not good or evil. It depends of the person that is creating the magic, right? And many people, maybe they're not doing rituals, but they're looking bad at others. And that's a bad ritual in a way, right? It's a spell. So I feel that all of you guys, you're going to embrace, again, 13. My gosh, with the card of the death, 13. Wow. And twice. I think that 2023 and 2024, it's going to be like very, very important years for both, for both of you guys. Okay, for both. Wow. Maybe some of you guys, you're going to live in a place where they grow corn. And look at the back, clarity, yes. You're going to have more clarity of where you want to go ahead, where you want to... Yes, what you want to start out, what you want to continue, what you want to leave behind. I see a lot of clarity. Again, four carrots, I was saying, between 2023, 24, I see a lot of clarity, empowerment. You are highly psychic. All of you guys, you're very, 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 very powerful, number one. Oh, my gosh. I think all of you guys, you're the favorites of God, if you believe in God. You're the favorites of the universe. Wow. Okay, my loves. <laughs> My angels, if you want to ask a specific question to Spirit. Okay. Question number one for group number two. Okay, reconsider. Okay. And I saw 21, 21. So that's another confirmation from Spirit. You can ask a second question, my loves. You can say it aloud or mentally. Let me, let me put back this one. Question number two for group number two. I feel this, all of this unlikely. No need to worry. Go the, go the time is right. I think this is the sequence of your, what you have been uh, living through. It could be, no? I am recording in a different date as you can perceive. I wanted to thank you guys for 
your loving energy, your support, your support through my services, your support through here, through the likes, the comments, subscribing. And thank you so much, guys, because I know that many of you are using my links of Keen and Purple Garden, these two incredible psychic sites online. I receive a compensation from them whenever you guys you use the link. And it's very economical for all of you guys. I will leave you the information down below in the comment section and in the description. So thank you so much. No obligation, but thank you so much. It helps me to, to continue with uh, all of my channels. My loves, have a beautiful day. I love you guys so much. Adios. <laughs> Big hug from Spain. Hey, group number three. How are you doing, my sunshines? Hope you're feeling amazing. And if that's not the case, you, we, me, my angels, and a lot of beautiful light beings, we will send you a great vibration. <laughs> if it's the first time that you find me, there are never coincidences. I am more immediate. I consider myself more immediate than a healer. It's true that I'm a psychic. I'm gonna, I, I have many abilities developed because of past lives. I remember most of my past life. So I feel so blessed to be able to help you through your journey, through your magical journey. And if you like my energy, please don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. It's going to help me to reach more people to, because my aim is to heal millions of people through my abilities. So thank you so much. So my loves, let's see what you're leaving behind this year and what you're starting out next year. I think this is going to be very interesting. And your card is very special. And I was listening a lot that many of you guys, you are very connected to India. Okay. Some of you England, I am listening. And maybe you're many from USA, you're going to travel to USA, something like that. I see many of you guys like traveling very soon, traveling Europe. Europe, it could be other places, but I'm watching that many of you guys, you feel drawn to Europe, to something different. But again, I feel a lot of connection to India here, mostly. My angels, let's see the card that it came out. Wow, beautiful, miracle, yeah, you're a miracle. <laughs> miracle making a difference, yes. Wow, look at that, look at that. Look at that. Yes, Asia, dragon, pink. Which, for many of us, right, it's related to feelings, emotions, to the heart, to the heart chakra, although it's the color green. I sense that with this picture, of course, you are going to manifest a miracle, okay? You're a miracle, but you're going to manifest a miracle. Maybe you have been working, because I feel and I'm feeling goosebumps, maybe you have been working on something. You're working on a manifestation or maybe in general in your life you're working very hard you're very focused you want to make a difference within yourself and in this planet in this reality and i feel that you're very close to your goal you see he's almost the dragon touching this and the water it's very calm so this is telling me that you're very close to your goal and this is going to bring you a lot of peacefulness a lot of calmness a lot of stability you're going to feel more grounded. You're going to feel free to feel. You're going to feel free to talk. You're going to feel free to be yourself. Wow, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I'm going to put it, uh, no, I'm going to put it here. Okay, my loves. So I'm going to start with some tarot basting right away. Please, Senors, Archangels, as the Masters, what are they leaving behind? I am listening, you're leaving behind toxic behaviors. It could be from other people, from yourself. Maybe you were very negative in the past and you have been working on that. Maybe you are, um, I am listening, retraining. I don't know if this is correct in English, but training again your mind. So it's not anymore an enemy. It, it's going to be your ally, your ally, yeah. And I sense a lot of alignment, a lot of purpose. You're living through your purpose. You're living through your soul purpose. You know in who you are. You know in what you are, why you're here. You know in your worthiness. And it reminds me, sorry, <laughs> I'm going to get this in one minute. Here we have the strength card. <laughs> it does not surprise me. Because again, you're pure of heart. And at the end of the road, at the end of the road, a lot of abundance, a lot of stability, calmness. I think that most of you guys, you're working side by side with an, an archangel 
Or lately you're receiving a lot of messages from archangels. I am listening Metatron, Archan Saint Michael Archangel. The card of the strength reminds me of Saint Michael Archangel. Maybe some of you guys you don't you don't resonate with angels. It's fine. Maybe it's a, di a different type of entity or god or goddess from your culture. But strength, we have the Leo energy, stability. What were, what, what we were talking about? You're somebody very strong, and I feel. Although maybe right now you're feeling a little bit low, you have been crying or you have been shouting <laughs> out of stress. It's fine. Don't worry about that. I feel that you are like focusing your anger in the correct way. It's like you're using that force, that energy, that strength. That Because sometimes I don't think it's bad to get angry. I mean, not to get angry and, and treat others like BS. No. And treat others wrong, wrongly. No. Oh. But if you have anger and if we alchemize that energy and we focus it in our dreams, in our goals, and it pushes us to move forward, perfect, right? So I think that this is what you're doing. You have been alchemizing a lot of habits, a lot of energies. So from feeling low, and it's fine if sometimes we feel low, right? We have emotions, it's fine. We are not robots. We're humans. <laughs> this is a human experience. So I feel that you are getting into... A new year of, I am here. I am. Gr I feel more grounded. I know who I am. Life does not dominate me. Does not push me. No. I know how to move now in life. I know how this game works. And this reminds me of group number one. I sense this is a lot of balance. Okay. So if you are coming from a past that was there was not a lot of balance, you're manifesting great balance. You're somebody very courageous. I feel that in Lion's Gate, you have changed into a different dynamic with yourself. I keep listening that the key in you, like in all of us, but this is very important here in group number three. If you don't resonate, choose another group. But I sense very clearly that you have the key. You always had the key within yourself. Maybe things have been happening with keys. Maybe you lost keys. Maybe you're finding lost keys when you're walking the dog. Maybe you are receiving the key, the symbol of the key. You have always had the key of your happiness. But you needed a lot of, well, a lot. I don't know if a lot, but you needed training. And that training has been going very well. Better than what you think, I'm listening. And I feel that you have, you guys, you have been activated in Lion's Gate. Maybe some of you guys, you have been doing a ritual in Lion's Gate, in the past Lion's Gate. In summertime, right? It was Lion's Gate in summertime. I don't remember in which month it is, but it was very important energetically. Okay, maybe some of you guys, you are Lirans, if you believe in star sets. Or you're a Leo. Or you tend to attract Leo people. Okay, so page of pentacles. Yes, baby. Yes, you see. You're holding. You're holding your gold. It's over there in your hands. It's so close. You're so close. You're so close. And all of these past experiences, what you're leaving behind has made you more brave, more courageous. And even more patient. I'm listening. Group number three. Good for you. This is like, at last. At last, at last, it's here. At last, I have won the lottery. At last, I have met good friends. At last, I have bought my home, my own home. At last, I am independent. At last, I have my dog, my cat, whatever. See, I, th I th even think that it's even going to happen for many of you guys in January, February. It could be, okay? January, February. Maybe you're Aquarius or Pisces. I feel this one's out for you guys. Justice, again, balance. Okay, maybe some of you guys, you're dealing with something legal, and this is telling me that you are going to win. You're going to be successful. It could be as well that many of you guys, if you don't, if you're not thinking of marrying in the church, maybe you're going to marry in a different way. Okay? And this, as for me as well, that many of you guys, you are balancing your karma your debt, okay? There's something about family and ancestors. And I love it. I think that many of you guys, you're supposed to write something important or you writing down or scripting, it's helping you out with your manifestations. This is Libra energy. I feel group number three, 
that in the past you encountered, encountered many people that were not, they were, you felt like they were not acting from balance or from, yes, they were not fair with you. I agree with you. I don't think it's so much because of your past experiences. I think it's more because of your ancestors. It could be that some ancestors of yours, I feel that I have to explain this. It could be that some ancestors did not treat others right. And you got that energy. You decided before reincarnating, okay, I'm going to clean this up. I know <laughs> it has not been easy, but you're doing it very well. Okay, you're somebody that you're very fair. And that's why you're receiving, you will receive lots of blessings, even from the very first months of next year. <clears throat> then we have the lovers. Oh my gosh, yes. I think that many of you guys, you thought that by 2022, this goal was going to be manifested, but it's going to be in 2023. For me, this woman, I mean, it could seem out like a threesome, but she's looking in a nice way. I think that she's like, the mother, a sister, or a friend, or an ancestor, or a grandmother that passed away from your partner or from somebody that you connect very deeply. And you're going to sense a lot of loving energy around that person that you connect. It could be that even many of you guys, you're going to marry or you're going to find your future spouse next year. Okay, yes. My freezer has just, the sound has just turned off when I said that. That's a confirmation. Many of you guys, <laughs> I have cream inside of my nails. <laughs> Many of you guys, if you have not met the one yet, you're going to do for sure. It could be even this Christmas. It could be because I see this very close. And I see that... Even many of you guys, you met somebody in the past, you thought it was the one, but no, you're going to understand when you meet this person, whoa, now I understand why the other story did not, or why I divorced, or why it did not went well. But you had good moments, right? Then, wow, the High Priestess, what an amazing card, the Eight of Cups and Seven of Cups. So this is telling me that all of you guys, you're highly psychic, you're working side by side with very strong entities, God, goddesses, masters, angels, archangels. I think that when you're sleeping, you're working with very strong healers or witches or sorcerers, even tarotists, psychics. I don't know if, guys, if you want to share it in the comments, do you remember what you do when you are sleeping? You are, we are not just sleeping, right? We are working, <laughs> many of us, we are working. <laughs> Maybe that's why sometimes you wake up very tired. Do something to help you energetically, okay? To, to raise your vibration again. But I feel if next year you're going to feel better, stronger. You're going to know how to protect yourself better. You're going to work in a more productive way. And we have the Eight of Cups. You're leaving behind a place. You're leaving behind a job. You're leaving behind maybe some studies that you don't like. You're leaving behind maybe your old life and starting a new life where there are so many choices that... I am feeling group number three, and again, I'm feeling so many, so much goosebumps. That maybe in the past you felt that you didn't have choices. It's like maybe you felt life is not fair, or I, I, I keep attracting people that are complicated, or they're not fair with me when I'm treating them very well. Or maybe you were like that in the past, and you have evolved, and right now you're a very good, incredible person. That wonderful. But I feel that right now you're going to have so, so, so many options that, that it's like, oh my gosh, I have to think not once, twice. It's like when we get into a restaurant, right? Normally when we get to a restaurant that it's very busy, it's like, oh, I want a desk. I like this restaurant. You are like wishing for a desk. And suddenly imagine that you're in your favorite restaurant and... All of the tables are free. <laughs> Have you, three, group number three, let me know. <laughs> Have you experienced like, I don't know which table to choose. I feel it's like you're going to have so much money, so many great people in your life, so many possibilities, so many opportunities. It's like, ah, now I have to decide what I want to do or where I want to sit down. It, it's like that. I sense like a change of from scarcity. Maybe your parents or your family come from scarcity concerning money, emotions, whatever. And suddenly like, oh my gosh, I have everything in my life. I don't know how to react. Yes, you will. <laughs> yes, you will. 
<laughs> and I like it because many of you guys, you're very connected to spirits, okay? Maybe some of you guys, you work in hospital, you're doctors, nurses. I see a castle, okay? Maybe some of you guys, you love, you love these Disney cartoon movies. This could mean as well that some of you guys, you, ha you, ha you pass through a lot of past lives in castles, okay? And maybe you're remembering those past lives. A hint to know when we are remembering, when we are, when we are watching a scene of our past life, normally the colors are quite different, okay? This is my experience. Maybe some of you guys, you have seen the scene in black and white, or maybe the, the colors are very bright in my, in my case, when I, when, and it was in a castle, it's funny. <laughs> I saw like the colors like very bright, okay? And we, he, we see here the, um, like a sort of a, a devil, okay? So this is telling me that all of you guys, you are getting stronger. Maybe you've had some sort of attacks from low vibration or demons or people that are very toxic, but I sense you again. You're not going to be afraid of anymore. Maybe right now you're afraid of speaking to your boss. I think I deserve a raise. You will not next year. Maybe you're afraid of talking to your partner about, I want this. You will not be in next year. Maybe you're afraid to talk to your parents to tell them, I don't want to study this. I want this. You will go for wh whatever it's, it's, it's good. And, in, and it's, it's, yes, it's going to make you feel in alignment with God, with universe. If it's not God, with universe, with light, with the core of who you truly are, with your soul. Okay. Some of you guys, you did, did, you did not know. I'm sorry. Is there, is there a retrograde right now? You did not know what you wanted to study you will, or what you want to do or what it's your sole purpose. You will do next year. And again, I tell you guys from the very beginning. Okay, I think that many of you guys, you're receiving a lot of 8 and 6, 11 and 11. Then we have the 7 of Wands. Okay. I feel this is an advice from your spirit team. It's okay to say no. And it's okay to say yes. Don't judge yourself. Try not to judge others. And try to avoid people that judge you and make you feel guilty because you want something or you don't want something. Maybe this is something that you have been working on. But again, I see you balancing all of this. I see you. And again, it, it's fine sometimes to feel uncomfortable. We are, all of us, we are learning, right, in this experience. We are not perfect. We are not supposed to be perfect. And again, as next, I feel that next year, you're going to feel like, at last, I am lucky. But I, I remind my loves, you are the one that you're manifesting all of this. And your team of light, they are so proud of you. They want to see you so happy. And they understand that if you don't ask them for help, or if you're not being specific, they can do, they can do some stuff, but they cannot do more. So this is another message, group number three. I see your communication with your team of light, with your animal totems, with your ancestors, like getting stronger, like you understanding better the messages. I think that many of you guys, you are natural mediums as well, because I saw the ghost here, and I'm, watch and I'm connecting with the energy. Let us shuffle some oracle. Oops. I feel this too. I know that sometimes I don't sh I don't shuffle a lot because the spirits tell me stop, get those two. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I work for them. <laughs> so polarity and freedom, yes, baby. So you're coming from this, and this is what you're manifesting: complete freedom. I want this. I don't have to think. Oh, I don't have the money. Of course, you're going to have the money. Oh, I would love to go on a trip with a nice person, with somebody that I really connect. You will have more than one person that you could go to go, you could go to that beautiful trip, polarity. So it says, integrate your shadow side. And this is what you have been doing so well. There can be no life without dark and understand the law of polarity. Absolutely. If you did not experience the darkness in your life, you wouldn't be this incredible light worker. Light being. Beautiful soul. I think, and again, this is talking about balance, right? Yin and yang. And freedom. Yes. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. I love it. Live wild and free. 
Okay, maybe you're receiving a lot of messages through songs that they talk about wild, free, freedom, having fun. Choose your freedom. Choose your freedom. Because sometimes we complain, right? But we are not saying, that. we are not being specific. I want this, and I want this, and I want this. And I think that you're learning to be more specific and to communicate better with universe, with God, if you believe in God, okay? You're learning to how to alchemize in a, in a more, yes, in a healthier way and claim your independence. Many of you guys, you are studying a, you're going to live by yourself or maybe you're going to live in a different city. There's something, there's, I think that oh, you already know what you're going to do. If you're not, if you don't know what this is about, but you have a slightly hint, okay, or you have a slightly idea of what it is, this is a confirmation that yes. Okay. And I'm watching three again, the two horses and the unicorn. I, I'm watching the triangle. I think that if you are having problem, this is something different, but I'm listening from spirit, from angels. If you're, ha if you're having problems sometimes dealing with toxic people or with negative people, uh, visualize yourself before leaving your home that you're surrounded by light and a triangle. If you don't like the triangle, then it's a, a circle or a square. But imagine yourself in a geometrical form, okay? That's going to protect you a lot. Oops. More messages, angels, for 2023 or for next year. Don't worry if you're going to see to watch this reading in a different year. It's fine. Libation and vow. Wow, yes. Donation, pray, religion. Yes. You see how they are guiding you, how they are teaching you, how they are telling you. If you drop this very quickly, you it's going to fall out, right? You're going to miss out a lot of that special liquid. But if you do it in a tender in a tender way with patience, you will have it all. You will not lose everything. So maybe this is something that and I, and I'm I know that it says liberation. I'm li I'm reading liberation, freedom. So maybe you were not very patient in the past. This is very typical of starship. <laughs> but now you're more patient, and it's going to be worth it. Number fifty-eight, and then we have oh yes, you see wish, wish granted hope you're going to i think that you already have hope right that's why you are manifested this incredible new life new in this new year and worship yes so all of your prayers are listened okay neville goddard it's very uh, neville goddard like um i don't remember the other one but he talks about how to pray in a good way to manifest and it's like that we are always being listened. They always listen to you. They o they're always with you. You see, you're so protected, so divinely guided. You're not alone. Sometimes you may feel like that, but you're not. Really, you're not. You're not. And I'm going to shuffle these ones. So such a beautiful reading. I'm so happy for all of you guys because you do, you really deserve this. You all of you guys. You're such a beautiful soul. So I'm moving this. Okay, so let's finish the reading, my loves. Wow. Directing my focus into what's thriving creates more of what I want. Absolutely. You are going to receive more and more and more. <laughs> Then you're going to be like, mm, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> Before I did not have a lot of money to travel, I don't know, to Europe. And I don't, I right now have so much money. I don't know, I don't know where to start. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> My angels, before we end up reading, if you want to ask two specific questions with this very specific card, okay? You can say it aloud, you can say it mentally. I'm so proud of all of you guys. You have such a beautiful, beautiful energy. I'm loving to connect with all of you guys. I feel honored. So thank you for being you. So please, angels, could you answer group number three, question number one.
I feel this. Let go and reconsider, okay? I hope it makes sense. Now let's go with question number two. I am watching butterflies and roses and a lot of pink. There's a lot of pink, a lot of pink, a lot of pink. So keep keep doing meditations to, to heal your heart. No need to worry. Question number two. Three months, 2023. Wow. And I'm, I'm feeling all of you guys like feeling at home, feeling safe. Question number three. Come on, I, am, I keep shuffling. Not the right time with question number three. I know that all of you guys, you're very psychic. You know all of this. And I'm so happy because you are developing your patience. I know it's not easy. <laughs> I've never been patient in my life, but now I am. <laughs> now I am, and it's worth it. Oh, I love you guys so much. I really feel so blessed for this community. All of you guys, you're amazing. You're such beautiful and magical people. Thank you so much for the comments. When I have time, I give you the likes and then I answer. So thank you so much, guys. And if you want to support me, you know, guys, there's no obligation if you want to give me a donation and you receive a very specific reading where they can read you the lines of the hand. They can uh, do the interpretation of your dreams. Uh, there are some incredible psychics that they know about numerology in Purple Garden and Kim. You have astrologers, mediums, tarotists. They're very good. So thank you so much. No obligation, but thank you so much for the ones that you're going to proceed uh, because I receive a compensation from them. And I love you guys so much. Have a very beautiful day. Blessings. <laughs> Adios. Hack from Spain. Bye.